When families are broken, our church and our society are also broken. The Bible says, for lack of guidance, a nation falls, but victory is won through many advisors. Welcome to the Family Matters of the New Jersey Conference. Hello, my friends. Welcome to Family Matters of New Jersey Conference. I am Pastor Jean-Michel Etienne, the Family Ministry Director, Associate Director of the New Jersey Conference. Today, it is a privilege and I am very delighted to introduce to you a new program called Family Matters. And I am very happy to have with me today, Pastor Peggy Philosen. Welcome, welcome. Pastor Thank Peggy, you. it is a pleasure to have you. Pleasure to have and you welcome. Too. Thank you. So once again, my friends, welcome to Family Matters. As you know, the Bible, the Bible says in the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 14, it says, where there is no guidance, a people falls, but in abundance of counselors, there is safety. As you know, family is very important, Pastor Peggy. Yes, it is. And this is the reason why I decide to have this program. So in order to help our people, our community, communities. So today we're going to discuss anger management. Because anger management is, 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 is number, number one. Mm -hmm of a uh, problem we having in the families. Hmm. And as you can see that when the families are broken, so society is broken. Yes. Therefore, it is very important to talk about anger. So can you tell the viewers what is anger? Hmm. Is, it, is it something sinful? What is anger? I will... I'm happy that you're having this program because you're right. There's one of the main things that we deal with is anger, especially with our young children right now, our youth, our children, mm -hmm. not knowing how to express themselves with what they're going through with bullying and all that. So it, in, it, in turn, they internalize it and it becomes a form of anger for them as they go through that. And I would like to begin with sharing a story of my experience of whether anger was a sin or not in my life. And it started off when I was in college and it was my second year in college and I had my apartment at that time. And I received a call from a collection person. And when I was so angry during the call with that collection person, at the end I hung up. And then as soon as I hung up, I was so angry I took a chair and threw it at the wall and made a big hole in the wow. wall and it was because of my anger and I remember that same instant I was so worried and scared and fearful that this is happening with my anger at that time and I said you know what I am I need to learn how to control this and I was afraid that hey what happened if I strike dead tonight did I make it to heaven because of this anger that I had in me and I needed to control how I deal with anger and so immediately uh, immediately I started looking into um, anger and is it a good thing is it a bad thing and the fact that I realized at that moment I don't know how to deal with anger nor was I ever taught how to deal with anger and how to deal with that particular emotion because as a kid you don't uh, you don't get to be angry because yes. in response you may get disciplined if you respond back in an anger format but I realized that Anger is not a sin. Mm -hmm. um, it's an emotion that is created in us. And we realize one of the famous texts that they use all the time is Jesus in the temple when he got upset and angry with how they were um, selling inside the temple. And he started removing the tables, throwing the tables down and kicking everyone out. Anger is not a sin. It's how we react and deal with the anger. That's when it becomes a sinful nature. You know, Paul talks about that anger is not a sin. And we also understand that God is angry with the wicked on a daily basis. So we need to teach our young people that anger is not a sin, but we need to also teach them how to deal with anger. There are proper channels that must be taken place to deal with anger. Very good. So the first thing to know to deal with anger is to understand yes. what it is, yes. okay? And uh, when we understand what it is, 
So we have to find ways uh, to control Correct. that emotion. Correct. Because various people for uh, various reasons, mm -hmm. uh, so they become angry. Yes. Yep. They become angry. Yep. So uh, I believe that uh, we should we should know how to let the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. how to let the Holy Spirit uh, control us or guide us mm -hmm. in order to to deal with uh, with uh, anger. I agree. I yes. agree. And during that time, while you're exhibiting that anger, frustration. We need to allow a moment to pause mm -hmm. before we allow the emotion to take action. We need to pause so that we can hear the Holy Spirit help us deal with that anger. And many times we do not take that moment of silence or pause um, to, to, to rationalize or just to even think as to why we are reacting the way we are or the way why we feel the way we do. And that's one of the causes is that anger can be so upsetting at you that it just, you want to react immediately. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't allow time for the Holy Spirit to really, when the Holy Spirit can work fast, but many times we need to just take a step back before we react and just calm down and allow the Holy Spirit to speak to us. All right, very good. Uh, we have to, we have to, talk to our, our viewers, mm -hmm. uh, some people believe that anger can be used in a positive way mm -hmm. or in a negative way. Mm -hmm. Anger can be constructive or destructive. Mm -hmm. uh, can, we, can you tell us a little bit more? Well, again, the example that I used was with Jesus Christ and the temple that was used in a constructive way and it was used in a positive way because there was a situation that was taking place which was unacceptable. Mm -hmm. And so it was used in that positive, uh, in that positive way. When a person do you any, uh, any harm or anything wrong towards you, then you do that anger feels in you. You react positively by saying, talking to them calmly in a manner because when you're angry you can't think so wait till you can process what that person did to you and approach them and say this is what you did to me which was wrong again that's a positive way to say that they have hurt you in a way that caused you to be angry where you have that emotion to be angry but you have taken time to process it so that you can communicate with them in an adult fashion and converse with them and say what you have done this time you now able to articulate how how their action to you has affected you. So that's also another format of how anger can be used in this um, in this positive way. Mm -hmm. um, the constructive way, the, the negative way, is when we allow that person to hurt us and we take it and we immediately react, whether it's through use of profanity, use of physical, whether it's some people, they, they say they were so angry that they stabbed that person to death or they shot that person or just they smacked that person or punched that person. Again, that's not a constructive way. That's in a negative way because you allowed that person and now they may have harmed you or said something that hurt you, but your response to it, the way you've allowed that anger to respond through you is in a negative way. Yes, very good. This is fantastic. So, so uh, anger should not be a reason for a couple to split. No, not at all, not at all, not at all. So they have to, they have to know that uh, no matter what, mm -hmm. whether you are a saint or a sinner, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you will be angry. Angry, yes. Because yes. It, is, it is a normal emotion. Yes, it is. Anything that you would like to have, you would like to do or you would like to see happen and it is not happening, mm -hmm. so you're angry. Yep. Yes. Okay? So, so anger, uh, it is just a normal emotion. Yes. We just need to know how to control, control it. Control it, yes. So now, we're going to, do, we, we're going to discuss it a little deeper, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, when anger, okay, is, uh, is in me, when I'm angry, Mm -hmm. So, I should take a decision to control my anger. Yes. Nobody, will, nobody will control it for me. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why sometimes in, 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 in a, a family, uh, when a husband or a wife, uh, uh, they have a problem among them, and each one of them, they're ang angry, and so they're trying to avoid 
They're trying to avoid one one another. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they refuse to eat together. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't talk anymore. So that's not the way. That's not the way to deal with anger biblically. Correct. They are just avoiding the real discussion. They're avoiding the situation. Um, one, because at that present time, they're so angry, they're afraid of how they will react. But yes. what tends to happen that hours will pass or da days will pass, they've never went back to discuss it. And as a matter of fact, this was said during the pandemic time, is that a lot of homes were broken at that time. A lot of divorces taking place. And it's because when it wasn't um, the pandemic, people were going to work. So mm -hmm. when they were upset, they didn't spend the night together. They didn't sleep in the same room. They woke up. They went to work. They would deal with their day in and day out. They never resolved the problem. And one problem after another would just keep building up, keep building up. But at the pandemic, they were forced to be in the same home together. They were forced to be in the same surroundings. And now they had to start addressing situations. But instead of dr addressing the situations, they no longer love this person. Mm -hmm. They no longer want to live with that oh. person. Fight. There was more fights that were happening. Well, it's because they've never dealt with the root cause of the problem. The moment they were angry, they were supposed to discuss it together. May not be at that present moment because you need to be in a clear mind to articulate how you feel so that you can hear clearly what the person is saying, that reason why you hurt them. But uh, eventually, before you go to bed for that night, discuss it. You have to at least address the reasons so it won't build up because once it stays inside, it eats up inside of you. And then you can even deal with sickness. It causes sickness when you never let it go. And not only does it cause sickness, it destroys the family. Yeah, that's correct. And uh, in, in another episode, we will... Uh we will talk about mm -hmm. communication mm -hmm. breakdown. Yes. Yep. So that's very good. So now, uh, there is a way to restrain or to control uh, the anger. Mm -hmm. So the first one, as I said before, is to surrender ourselves to the Holy Spirit. Yes, yes, yes. What? Yes. And I like how you say that because in your New Jersey conference, family monthly newsletter that we do have on a monthly basis, you mentioned a scenario of Cain, which was mm -hmm. also surprising to me because I never paid attention to that. God wanted Cain to address the anger that was inside of him, to let it go, to talk about it. And we are supposed to release and let go of the anger and things that are bothering us inside. We cannot hold on to it. And so we need to have a moment, a time to address it with God, to address it to one another a counselor, our pastor, mm -hmm. or the person that, w that we have that problem with. We need to get it out of our system because if not, it will deteriorate inside and cause illness within us. And so, yes, those are the things that I realized and I never put, uh, understood or saw until you presented that in our monthly newsletter of how God was trying to help Cain to discuss mm -hmm. and trying to find out the root cause of the anger inside. There is another important point how to deal with mm -hmm. anger. Some people, they like to let things accumulate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we have to, uh, I'm talking to, to the audience, to the viewers, uh, when there is anger, okay, so they have to discuss, as you said, the small, whatever small, how, it doesn't matter how small is the, the, the issue, mm -hmm. so they have to discuss it. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't, you let it ac accumulate, uh, and before you know, it will explode. Yes, it will. Yes, it, it will. will explode. Yeah, and it's not healthy. It's not no, healthy it's at not. all. So they got to find a way to let it out. One of the good things is go walking, go for a run, go to the gym. Um, whatever it is that you need to at that moment, if you cannot talk to someone about it, this is your chance to get out there in nature or pray about it, sing songs, listen to music, whatever it will allow you to just calm down and give you that moment to think and process it so that you can address the reason for that anger. And one thing I, I used to tell people, because I s sat down with mm -hmm. a lot of couples, and I used to tell them, sometimes you need a moment. Mm -hmm. You need a break. Yes. yes. You need a break. When the thing is too much, mm -hmm. you take a walk. Mm -hmm. Go to the park. 
and after when the thing cool cools down mm -hmm. so you can come back yes. and discuss the situation yes. and try to resolve it there is another another way uh we have to when we are angry we need to control our thought mm. yes. this is very important yes. because uh, when people are angry they're out of control. Out of control. So a lot of things going on in mm -hmm. the brain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's why the first thing we said, the first uh, remedy that we mm -hmm. said, so to surrender mm -hmm. yourself to the Holy Spirit. Yes. Because if you don't let the Holy Spirit take control of you, you will be you, you will be out of control. Yeah, and you Your, allow Satan now come in. You allow that room to come in. Yes. That's right. Yes. And there is a passage yes. I would like to read for mm -hmm. the for the viewers where a pastor Paul says, uh, we need to resolve. Mm. We need to resolve the problem uh, because if we don't do that, we will give Satan access. We give Satan access. Mm -hmm. uh, so we need to resolve the, the, the problem when we have them. We should not let them accumulate. And uh, in Ephesians chapter 4, Verse 26. Verse 26, mm -hmm. uh, where it says, uh, verse 26, Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go mm -hmm. down on your anger and give no opportunity to the devil. Yes. So this is key. Yes. So when there is a situation, there is a conflict, mm -hmm. uh, marital conflict, uh, uh, relationship, uh, intimacy, conflict, whatever mm -hmm. type of conflict. So we have to resolve it. Yes. Because if we don't, we will let, let, give the devil an mm -hmm. access mm -hmm. to enter our heart. Yes. And I always tell people when the devil enter your heart, it's going to be hard to it kick is, him out. It is hard. Um, and I'm glad that you mentioned that because we've noticed that there are times and there's scenarios that's happened and they've talked about this as well is when there is when a person is upset and angry they go for a drink they're smoking yes. they do all these other things just to calm them down but what it does it feeds into say to speak to them because when they drink so much they lose clarity mm -hmm. when they're smoking so much especially weed and all that they lose clarity and so all of that affects them and I've had scenarios of people that I've known where when they were having spousal dispute and they're going out to drink themselves out or whatever it is that they were doing they would hear certain things of negativity yes and yes. so they were like this doesn't make sense and that's when we see how the the there's that demon possession that comes in mm -hmm. through that because instead of dealing with the anger in a constructive way they went out and used tools and, and and use other substances to feed into that instead of allowing the Holy Spirit to guide them in it yes very good another way mm -hmm. uh, people can restrain or control the anger it is by controlling their actions mm -hmm. again to control mm -hmm. your thoughts to control mm -hmm. your actions yes. so mm -hmm. you have to you have to abide yes. uh, with the Holy Spirit. You yes. got to let the Holy Spirit guide you. Yes. But this is very important because if you don't control your action, uh, it's going to be physical. Yes. Some people, when they're, they're angry, they grab the, the other person mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. the thing, whatever mm -hmm. they, 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 can, they can grab mm -hmm. and they throw it on other people. Mm -hmm. Some people, they use, they, they use knife on yes. people. Yes. Uh, it is very dangerous, yes. very bad. Yes. So we have to know how to control our action, yep. how to control our thought, how to control our reaction. Mm -hmm. Because as we said at the beginning, uh, anger is not is not a sin. Mm -hmm. It's a normal emotion. A, we can we I should say it is a given, mm -hmm. a given, a given driven mm -hmm. uh, emotion that mm -hmm. God put in us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it is not a problem for a wife to get mm -hmm. upset mm -hmm. or to 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 angry. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not a problem, but it is her we're going to yeah. control, it. control it. How we're going to deal mm -hmm. with the, the emotion biblically. Yeah, yeah. And it's unfortunate because this is where we see a lot of signs of physical abuse in the home. 
because yes. they could not control their anger. They let that, um, they use physical force um, on that person that they're upset with. And then we see these increase of physical abuse that's happening in the home, which is unacceptable. But it's because that person have not learned how to control their anger. Yes, yes indeed. Uh, another advice we can give uh, our, our viewers, uh, when, in order to control anger, you must be determined. You must be willing. Mm -hmm. You must be willing to control yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because no one will help you, no one will do it for you. Mm -hmm. So, even the Holy Spirit is guiding you, mm -hmm. if you are a Christian, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit is guiding you, but your effort, mm -hmm. your, 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 your contribution mm -hmm. is very vital. Yes. So you need to choose, your, you need to determine to control yourself. Yes. And a good uh, example uh, I used to give, uh, give to people, uh, let's say you, you are, you are in, a, uh, in a disagreement you are you you angry you angry against your wife or your husband uh you arguing uh the, the the room is hot you're fighting uh words bad words you exchanging words mm -hmm. okay and then the telephone ring mm -hmm. telephone rings you were looking or expecting a, an important phone call mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay so the phone rings so what happened uh, the husband and the wife, mm -hmm. so s one of them has to answer the phone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what they do, because no one, no one would go to the phone very angry <laughs> because you don't know, okay, mm -hmm. who you're going to talk to. Yep. So first thing you do, you, uh, you take a pause, mm -hmm. okay, you, you take a, 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 a good breath, mm -hmm. right, <laughs> and then you put yourself together and then you go to the phone, <laughs> yeah, kindly you said hello mm -hmm. so nobody you pretend like everything is fine, fine. Yeah. you pretend yeah. like everything yeah. is okay <coughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. but in the reality you are fighting yes. <laughs> okay in the reality you are very angry mm -hmm. so you you decide you you choose to control that emotion at that, that moment, moment. <laughs> yeah. yeah so this is the same thing so when a husband or and wife, they're, 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 they're in a disagreement, they have a problem, they're angry, mm -hmm. so they have to choose to control themselves. I agree. You cannot beat the person <coughs> or me. grab the person, so you have to control yourself. Yes, I truly agree to that, and I guess I was laughing inside when you were saying that, because I find it interesting of how... Um, and you've mentioned this, I believe, earlier, is that when a person is upset at work or anything at home or wherever they may be, the person that they, when they get out of that environment, they lash out on their family, they lash out on their kids, they lash out on their spouse, but they know how to control it because the moment the phone rings, they immediately change and take a pause to answer and their tone changes yes. so that that person is not aware of an argument that happened in place. And so if they can control it while they're at work to not get fired, mm -hmm. but when they get home, they're comfortable with their family, their spouses, they're assuming that, you know, they love us so we can go through, we can have this real talk, but it's still abusive. Yes. It's still abusive because you are, you are letting out your anger emotionally, mentally, some of them physically at that time, and, not, and then immediately you change your attitude based on who's knocking on the door, who's calling, or anything like that. And so which means that you really can consciously control yourself mm -hmm. at that moment, but you choose not to because you just want to let it out on that person. But you're, you can, in, in response to that, you can be doing more damage yes. to that person. Yeah. Yes. All right, I think this is, uh, <laughs> this is an interesting topic yes, it is. Uh, it today. Is. It is. Uh, I would like to, to thank uh, uh, all of the viewers. <laughs> so this is the first program or the first episode of the Family Matters of New Jersey Conference. So we were discussing today uh, the topic mm -hmm anger management so i hope that this program uh, can be helpful to you so you can know exactly what is uh, anger and is it a sin is it sinful how anger can be used destructively or constructively 
and also how to control it, how to restrain uh, from anger. Mm -hmm. So I hope that this program uh, can be uh, helpful to you. Uh, once again, so it was a pleasure uh, to present to you this program, Family Matters of the New Jersey Conference. So if you like to have more uh, detail on this program, you can visit uh, our website, uh, ngcsda.org, and we have the newsletters on family uh, also er every month, uh, monthly newsletters on family. Uh, we have a lot of topics we present. And once again, we thank you for watching this program. Mm -hmm. And the next topic will be on domestic violence. So it is an important topic, so don't miss it. Mm -hmm.